if you know, you know. Yeah. If you know, you know. What up? What up? It's your boy. You don't know brutal someone the scene wicked than me with a next video for y'all man. So I was streaming, right? I was streaming. And someone hit me up in the chat saying, yo, the patch notes are out. I was like, the patch notes? They actually dropping some patch notes? Because you know your boy, I did a video this morning and, you know, yeah, we got word that there is going to be a huge patch. And my one request, well, one of my requests was, yo, can y'all drop some patch notes so we would know what we're downloading, man? We need some patch notes to know the changes. And the next thing was, please fix the steals. So let's see what this patch notes contain, man. All right. I'm going to skip the first part because this doesn't really apply to me. They're talking about new Nuggets court and new and three-point customization and team playbook. And whatever, man. I don't care about these three things. But the link will be in the description if you all want to read the full patch notes. Y'all can check it out, man. All right. So let's get to the mockery. Some stuff that I've been on a lot. Now, the first thing they said they address is... Um, they addressed the case where some users would always see 0.0 or 0.0 on the game clock in specific macro saves. Now, I don't know anything about that, but it's fixed. Now, the next thing is fix an issue where VC payouts were not being paid for all in-game milestones if you hit multiple in-game goals. Now, I did not know about this, so I could have, I could have been out there and getting robbed. I don't know, but it is what it is, man. They addressed it. Fixing is you where custom jump shots could not get saved when making a change and leaving the my animations menu. Um, yes, I experienced that. A lot of my custom jump shots I couldn't even use, man. Now the next thing they address is made a number of improvements to the strikeout game experience inside your my card. Now I got a bunch of games in there, but I ain't played none yet, so I did not know about this at all, man, at all. The next thing they addressed a case where the user was unable to scroll the calendar to the left when viewing it inside the locker room. Yes, I experienced this a lot, man. So, but there was an easy fix, man. All you had to do is bring down the menu and bring it back up, man. It was alright, man. That no big thing. So, yes, they did address it. Good. Uh, fix a rare crash that could occur as the power ranking overlay was brought onto the screen during my career games i experienced this crash multiple times a little bit annoying man but um they addressed it fixing issue where my player in an interactive role was unable to earn minutes and make it into the team rotation so are you telling me there are a lot of people out there that has not been making it on their squad <laughs> But anyways, man, let's check out the neighborhood. Let's see what they talking about in the neighborhood. I hope I see something for steals, man. That's all I'm hoping for right now, man. All right, so let's check it out real quick. All right, so straight to the neighborhood. Face cannon has been up enabled while in the neighborhood, which will allow you to update your scan or apply your first one. All right, so now you actually, a lot of people was hitting me up, asking me about the face scan. They're not able to update their face scan. And I myself might want to do a little update. I'm a little jealous of my PS4 face game right now, man. So I might want to update my Xbox. So now we're able to do it, bro. All right. And you're actually able to do it while standing in the neighborhood. Um, fix the hang that could occur when attempting to save and exit the crew uniform editor immediately after entering. Fix an issue where some users would lose functionality after losing a game in Antioch when entering in a, as, it as a squad. Fix an issue where the user would sometimes hang when entering the tattoo shop in the neighborhood. I never experienced that. Now, this is something right here, the big issue with a lot of people, of course, the cheese, the no dribble cheese on checking. They said, users are no longer able to start dribbling off the check rather than having to pass the ball in during neighborhood 3v3s or 2v2 games so they actually addressed it disable steals disable the steal and chuck command during the check ball situation to prevent the offense or defense from having an unfair advantage in the neighborhood so y'all remember when people just running around shoving people out the way 
and then the cheese starts. So they actually addressed this. Kudos to them. This was a huge annoyance, of course. Long hairstyles will no longer will no longer be seen clipping through hats in the neighborhood. All right, uh, cosmetic stuff. Fix the case where the user team's basket would no would not be counted when playing a three v three game versus the AI inside your my court. Users in a squad are no longer able to enter the starting area of red ball, blue ball, or dodge ball when the other members of the squad are not present. In your in your instance of the neighborhood. I don't really care. I, I never try to play these game modes. I ain't gonna front with y'all, man. So I don't know the issues that these, you know, these extra stuff had. So hopefully y'all, um, you know, that's something that benefit y'all. Um, fix the case. Fix a case where, um, where win was not being tallied at a conclusion of a crew game in the neighborhood. All right. So they actually fixed that. So now you're getting all your wins, I guess, counted. The user's VC balance will now immediately update after winning VC on a free daily spin wheel in Antio. All right, the display balance was slow to update prior. Make sure log in each day, of course, to check out your daily spins. I got to stop by there soon myself. Now let's see what was addressed in the pro -Am. All right, and pro -M, I mean rec as well. I'm sorry, that seems like pro -M to me. Address cases that would prevent some users from properly matchmaking when they were the last player to join the shoot around. All right, okay. All right, so that seemed like team pro -M type stuff. Fix a matchmaking issue where if anyone joins the shoot around after the owner set the game to private, it will reset the match to rank. The other team involved would search for the opponent and be unable to find one. All right, so um, yeah, all right. This is more team pro M. It seems like man, this is more team pro M. It's all good. It's all good, man. I want. Where's the stuff on the wreck, by the way? Nothing on the wreck. But let's continue, man. Let's go to the my team. You know they're gonna address these. Cause you know my team is their thing, man. So now um. Scrolling in the auction house has been slightly speeded up to allow for easier browse of cards available for auction. Diamond contracts now have an increased starting minimum and maximum price in the auction house. Address array case where a drawn my team card would remain on screen during active gameplay. Fix an issue on PC where some users would hang when attempting to enter freestyle under the single player tab. All right, so those are the my team issues that was fixed. And last but not least, the my league, my GM. The contract extension menu should now properly appear for all users in my league online. Second thing is address cases where um, that would cause head to head my league online games to disconnect during gameplay. Fix a rare hang that you some users were reporting as they attempted to progress through free agency. Address a hang that would occur when attempting to enter the staff menu while controlling multiple teams simultaneously. Offer that that the player immediately rejects will now be counted as an extended offer during the free agency period of my league online many other small blocks on bugs my bad oh, blocks. many other small bugs bug fixes and adjustments were also uh, made game wide all patch fix will work in your existing game mode saves all right so yeah y'all have it man now i'm going to put the link in the description so y'all could check it out man um I appreciate these patch notes though, but my concern, I ain't see nothing on the steals, bro. I ain't see nothing on the, the interceptions. It's crazy, bro. All right. So it's still going to be a spam fest, but they did address the, the, um, the check ball cheese, um, the shoving cheese, they address those. So it's going to be interesting and, and don't, don't even, you know, they might turn up the amount of sh 
offensive foul being called with those shelves too, man. So be careful with that. So uh, we're going to see. We're going to see when we get the, our hands on this patch, y'all. We're going to see when we get our hands on this patch what is truly changed, what has been truly affected. Because if y'all been around a while, man, y'all would already know that sometimes once they address something, something else gets severely affected, bro. Something that they don't mean to. It might be a jump shot. Might be a next glitch. Might be just be you entering in your my career could be possibly disabled. I'm just saying. I'm not wishing for that. But I'm just saying. Keep your eyes peeled, man. For some of the other things that are affected. And y'all could hit your boy up, man. Y'all know I'm going to put it out there, man. All right. So shout out to them for that, bro. As I said, I did do a video earlier this morning saying, yo, I know my, um, Ronnie said, yo, in the next 48 hours, we're going to get patch free. Please put out some patch notes, man. And they put out the patch notes. So I appreciate it 110%, man. So let me know what y'all think about these patch changes, man. These changes in the game. Is this going to ruin the game? I know a lot of people, as soon as they say patch, oh, it's ruining the game because they got their build. Their build is probably overpowered. And they don't want anything touched in the game. They will put up with the steel spams. They will put up with the shelves, the pushes. They will put up with the checking ball cheese. Just so because of the fear of their player getting touched. Now I understand that you spend VC and if you invested and you created your bill because of how the game played and the game changed, you might be annoyed. I understand, bro. I understand fully. So I don't hold it against you, man. But as I said, let me know what y'all think about these patches. Is it a pro or a con? Is it a plus or a negative? So, you already know your boy Sim. You know I got to keep y'all updated, man. Don't forget, man. First time to my channel to like the video, share the video, and hit your boy a subscribe. If it's not your first time, though, like the video, share the video. You never know who's going to be informed. Your boy Sim, one love, respect. Bless up.